Uh, all right, these factory bulbs are not cutting it. <laughs> the brights are dim, and the dims are basically non-existent. Oh, boy. All right, time to get new lights. These headlights are looking pretty dim. Uh, kind of crappy on the road at night, and I'm used to my XJ, which is really bright and really lit up. So I think the Basla Ferry is going to pay a visit to the CJ. What is this? Is this for me? Basla? Are you the Basla Ferry? No. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. Today I got a great video for you. We're going to be working on the 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee, the General Grievous ZJ, and we're going to be installing Basla headlights. That's right. These LED bulbs are going to go in place of these factory bulbs inside these pretty decent lenses. They're, they're not dingy or dirty or anything. We're not getting great output for these lights. Um, in a world we're living in today where everybody's got HIDs and LEDs, these things, these factory bulbs just don't, don't cut it. They don't stand up to it. So uh, got in touch with Basla. They sent me some of these headlights. So uh, we're going to install them, see how they work. So uh, let's go to the bench and unbox them. All right, guys, here we go. Opening up our Basla packaging. Uh, nice little bag. Cool, very nice. And nice box. There we go. It's actually pretty compact. Here we go. We got the 9004 high low for my Jeep ZJ. Uh, I think this is all the same for the 93 to 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, here we go. On the box, it shows its four settings. Now, this is a four in one bulb. That's amazing. Uh, the first setting is going to be a 6500K bright white. Um, light beam. Uh, if you flash your lights, it'll change to a warm yellow, uh, 4300 K. Now this is good for fog. You flash your lights again, you get to a three, <laughs> I can't read it, 3000 K, uh, nice amber. And then you flash them again and you will put on your hazards, which will be a 3000 amber flashing hazard. So that's pretty fantastic. Four bulbs, uh, and one bright LEDs, and I'm excited. I can't wait to get this in the XJ. So let's open this up. XJ. I said XJ. I meant ZJ. <laughs> happy. Heck yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> this is great. Uh, here we go. Basla manual. Very cool. And here they are. LEDs, man. These aren't just your regular dinky LEDs. This is this is something. This is uh, nice and robust. It's got a fan in here. Actual cooling fan. Hey, it'd be great if it blew the hot air into the uh, lenses so it could melt snow and ice. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm hesitant about LEDs, uh, because the heat, we need the heat from the bulbs to melt the snow and ice. I think these might actually generate some heat, so this could be really good. Um, so here's the bulbs, and um, they have a connector that you just simply plug into here. Um, looks like a nice waterproof connector, and it can only go one way, so that's good. Even I can't mess that up. <laughs> These just slide in, and then you have a little cap that screws it on. It's a nice waterproof setting. Easy peasy. And here's the ballast. You can mount the ballast somewhere if you wanted to. Um, I like to mount mine <laughs> out of the way of water. <laughs> water usually seeps into my ballasts. This actually looks nice and sealed up. Uh, very good. And here's the plug. You plug your factory headlight plug into here and then uh, everything works so that's it really simple connections uh, let's get this in the ZJ cool all right check this out here we are on the driver's side of the ZJ and I could probably get this with one hand. This is going to be simple. There we go. A little rotation. Turned and pulled out the bulb. Let's see if I could get this out with one hand. Nope. <laughs> Let me put the camera down. I'm just going to pop off this headlight bulb. There we go. And here's the difference between a regular bulb and a Basel bulb. That is uh, pretty beefy in there. And this is a regular bulb, and we're not gonna need this. 
This again is a 9004, and this is the 9004 replacement. And uh, yeah, you can see these sockets are the same. So cool, let's get this in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this headlight out. There we go. Let's just clip in, and I'll see if I can install it just like this for you. Nice and easy. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, slide out this mounting piece. All right, so once you remove this ring off your bossel bulb, you could go ahead and line these three little grooves with your headlight lens. And you can go take your lock ring, you line these tabs up with the grooves again. You wanna push this in nice and hard, give it about a quarter turn, and this lock ring locks that in place. Now we can take our bossel bulb, insert it right in. It's got nice gaskets on it, sucks it right in. There we go. The bulb was in the lens, and now we can just go pop our lens right back in. All right, so the headlight's installed. Now all we have to do is plug in our ballast. And again, we got the idiot-proof connector, which I like. <laughs> Could only go on one way. We're going to screw on our lock. Awesome. Now we have a ballast we can mount. I'm going to find a nice safe place for it. I'm just going to tuck mine out of the way for now. And I'm going to go ahead and insert my headlight harness. Plug it right in. And that was upside down. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys, I wasn't even going to show you this, but this is really impressive. This is broad daylight, and this thing is shining really bright. You can see the stock light, and you can see the bossel, and this is broad daylight, guys. I'm really impressed. Um, yeah, I'm still going to show you the difference at night. Well, I'm not going to show you the difference at night. I'm going to show you the bossel at night. You already saw that crappy uh, stock light in the daytime, but, man, that is impressive. All right, I'm going to go try and do this side now, uh, the passenger side. I'm not going to take out the lens for this one, and I'm not going to take out the battery. I'm going to see if I could just quickly plug and play this right in here without messing with anything. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I didn't use that lock ring from the factory bulb because uh, it was a little warped. I guess all that heat actually elongated the uh, lock ring and it wasn't locking on, but no biggie because the O-ring on these Bossel bulbs are so tight, I don't think it'll matter. Uh, easy peasy. Plugged it in and uh, that's it. It's on. So I will get back to you guys. Man, those are so bright. I'll get back to you guys at night and we'll run them through the uh, paces and we'll uh, see how good they do in the dark. Uh, I'm loving them already. I think uh, I'm already a believer. Go Basel. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, see you tonight.
All right, guys, we are in the ZJ, and man, it makes some difference. Holy headlights, Batman. These things are off the hook. I love them. All right, let's just take this thing for a little drive. All right, I am driving down the exact same road that I did in the intro, this long and lonesome road. A long and lonesome road. And uh, man, there is no comparison. This is bright, the other ones were dim. <laughs> no brainer. These bosslers got me convinced already. Let me run them through their paces again. Let's go half and half. Nice. Some yellow. Some white. Let's go to yellow. That is all yellow. Hey, amber's pretty cool, man. I dig it. Uh, unfortunately, it is a gorgeous night. Not a cloud in the sky, and it's crystal clear. So I cannot show you the fog portion. Oh, hey, little guys. Blinded me. All right, let me blind them back. That's why we gotta get bright lights for our old Jeeps. They show no remorse to us. <laughs> we gotta compete. There we go. Very nice. I guess this long and lonesome road ain't so lonesome. Oh my gosh. What is it, a Friday night? Oh, yeah, it is actually. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the only thing is I cannot get the, uh, the hazards on, but whatever, no big deal. I'll figure that out. <laughs> I guess I'll have to read the instructions. What a concept. All right, let's uh, make a pass through the impassable bridge, and I'll stop at the red light this time. Mess with the headlights. There we go. And uh, just so you ZJ guys know, to uh, flick the headlights on and off, well, to turn them, I'm just flicking the uh, headlights on and off to change, change them from yellow to white and so forth. And of course, the uh, high beams function as normal. Pretty cool. You can actually rotate from yellow directly to high beam without changing them over. It doesn't give you a yellow high beam. It goes back to the white high beam. So, that's awesome guys. I'm digging these bosses. I love them. Alright, let's head back home. Alright, we're going to wrap up this Bossel headlight video. These bulbs are amazing. They're LED. They're super bright. When they're in the white configuration, they're amazing. Uh, and we also have the amber that we can check out. I haven't got a chance to experience them in the snow, but it will happen. It's almost that time of year. Um, super easy install. You just pop out the old bulbs, pop these in, and you just do one extra plug. You can't beat it. Super simple. Um, so far, I've got three out of four functions. Uh, I haven't been able to switch it to the flasher mode. Um, I'm going to have to read the instructions. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, so far, they're amazing. I love them. Uh, one installation tip, uh, make sure that the, the wire that comes out of the back is rotated to the 6 o'clock position. This way, when you flick your brights, uh, the high beams go up. Um, I had them reversed. I put the wire up and they were down, so... <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> uh, another thing is I'm going to need to get the locking ring for these headlights for the ZJ. Um, I got to order a new pair. The uh, other ones I have wouldn't lock in. Uh, I thought they would be tight enough, but they weren't. Um, when I'm driving, I can notice they're wiggling around in there. So uh, that's about it. Um, again, I love these. Go check out the link in the description. Get yourself a pair of these Basala headlight bulbs. They're amazing. You won't regret it. And uh, that's it, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Go order my uh, stickers. Uh, I still got stickers available. And uh, that's it, guys. Like uh, like a famous dude once said, let there be light. All right, guys. Peace.